Things will go a little further. Yeah, I think they're gonna still go towards A, and Shinobi might just be holding for a lurk here. I don't know how much he's actually gonna do. Hunter's Fury comes through, forcing a player away, but it's not gonna connect them to anybody. Mina's in a good spot. Actually, it does catch D-Cup. That's a good one from Vice. In comes Relic, so that's the spike down. Surely, Mina with another, trying to get more revealed and eliminated by Vice. He's looking for more towards Heavens. Pancakes has come through at long last. Can he sign for his team? Messy spray, but he wins it on the Vice. Spike not yet going down. Mitch just behind the generator. Caught out by Q Fat Boy. And it's all on the shoulders of Shinobi who's been lurking around. First player is going to be DXN. And he actually does win that, but it's a little rough on health now. And I left. don't think there's much he can do. Not really much. Cover going out. Which I have a problem here, Shinobi. Don't he have placed down that dark cover, which might be good to find that opening kill. The second one completely evades him. He doesn't have the time to really check all these angles, so gonna be some rough time shinobi yeah he's just gonna be caught the wrong way and natural progression isn't it That's the doesn't seem like the recon bull is even gonna be the thing to pay attention to it's gonna be cute fat boy waiting right outside left. of his cyber cage Please. unfortunately he goes down that begins the assault onto the b-bomb slate from cloud nine shock drop coming what? through and dxn right behind it still finding the kill but cloud nine just do a little bit better at keeping themselves even and a little bit spike in the lead planted. they get the spike planted and uh, although mitch i have to say he's at least somewhat exposed right now sitting in b main all in all this should be just good enough for c9 to at least have a bit of a One problem remanding. factor well, pancakes taking it down from 1v2 to 1v1, but again, this second player is going to evade him. This is what's so strong about the post point angles from Cloud9 is that they can just rip and tear at their own pleasure. And I'll go ahead and Cloud9 have been able to completely dominate this early game, but that's a good start. Speaking of the early part of this game, of this round in particular, it's definitely going to be Equinox that I'm keeping my eye on. They're going to be using the Rolling Thunder just to try to buy them some space, but 10 does it even one better. Two kills found in a 3v3 is what we find ourselves in, but that is a high cost of entry for Equinox. It's a high price to pay a Rolling Thunder gone through, and it didn't really equate to anything at all. 3v3 here, cute fat boy trying to make his way in towards Garden, but Vice will shut him down. Massive kill there, does get tagged down by the Shock Dart, but he might have another here. No, Mina with the Operator drops on down and destroys Vice. Relic's popping up as Shinobi with him. It's a double peek onto DXN, who's not able to capitalize on anything. Showstopper to win this round. Mina dodges, Mina gets the first, but Mina is very low and has no ammunition left. Has a good idea where Shinobi is sitting as well in a 1v1 duel. Mina just going to drop that spike tap. Mina holding, waiting. It's a time. It's a game of waiting and opportunity. And Shinobi strikes again. That's the second 1v1 Shinobi has won. At first, they know the operator's around. The blades have been popped. The blade storm is out. Can the blades catch anything? No. Relics shasslers in towards sight. It's a full-on retake setup being played by Equinox. And this could go extremely messily. The spike's going to go down here. Mina needs something to open things up. They're all coming in from CT spawn. It's going to be a grudge fest here. Spikes. Blades going out. Cans and Mitch. Two kills. And for more. Relics trying it for one more it's all left on cute fat boys the retake goes amiss nobody finding anything for equinox required destroyed but now his head has also been destroyed cute fat boy that's the omen absolutely everything that he could want here shinobi elsewhere will find the opening kill that's over towards catwalk baiting out the utility now markets belongs completely to them what in the world are some of these takes right now clown nine Maybe taking it a bit too smart for themselves here. Luckily, they have the kills to back it up, though. That was something they most definitely did not have in round number nine. But Ten is looking a lot more spotless. One on four for Mina to overcome. Already, everything else is just icing on the cake. I wanted to talk to you about what do you think the road is for Equinox to bring this back? At four rounds, what is their road to victory? Is there a road to victory for Equinox? And how much do they have to do on their map pick? Here comes Q Fat Boy. Those could be huge, but it's not. It falls shy. But oh yes, Cloud9 pulling a Navi 2015. There's no time. I don't know if they can get the spike down. Barely Relics might just it. manage a bit. Oh no! No, they don't! Decoff! That's a massive play. They're shutting down the spike carrier in the nick of time. Towards the end of that first half. Second half gets off to a wonderful blistering start for them. But they can end up staying aligned with three players towards the end of actually getting that spike down. And this should be their reward. They are rewarded handsomely. Walking into them, Tens gets a parting blow, but still overwhelmingly in favor of the team in red. But you see the back up here. I mean, again, you have to consider 
what they're working with here. Not much. Incredibly apparent right there. The classics. Basically pea shooters at a range like that. And unfortunately for the side of C9, they will be completely dismantled. Wonderful pivot from Equinox though. They decide not to completely temper it. Decide to run over to B entirely. Beautiful, nice move from them. But I mean, it's clean. It really, they're just trying to minimize damage that they take on an eco like this. They know how scary C9 can be. Try, you know, if, if you actually have the time, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and try to find a little bit of a stats here. Because yeah, go I ahead. I want to say that C9 have some of the best eco round stats. I would not be surprised. I mean, you have guys like Tens and Mitch and Vice that can all hit some insane shots with pistols and. It's not like they'll be doing much here, though. Maybe Mitch can catch a couple on the exits here. Gonna run into a few. No, Pancake shuts him down. And Vice, the last alive here. Spectre in hand. Might have a chance for more than one. Gets taken down a little bit more. And Pancakes will grab a fourth. That's three and four in the last two rounds. Pancakes really starting to come alive here. And T and they're just gonna push on the site. Mina drops Mitch as the first kill. Spikes will be going down. But Vice through the smoke. Catches off Decop. And through the wall as well. It's a good one to start things off on a trade. And Mina already low. Makes things a little bit easier. Spike finally going down. But the rotations are coming through three players coming in through market and perhaps mitch will join them do they even i mean really all i'm Shock thinking that. at the moment is how much do equinox actually try to dedicate to this resource because this is still a very tough round to win take a look at mina in particular basically bleeding internally drone can be used early here and this logs position could be vital no but he's spotted and that's my big worry why have they dealt with him what? You saw him How? but didn't kill him? It was probably all on to camera. Oh, that is brutal. That's going to be going victim. Won't be the first one this time, though. Left. He hides over towards Boathouse. Mina will lead the charge right on in with Spectre in hand. Just bunny hopping around. Now Mina will pop the knives. Actually do some real damage. But C9 are the bearers of bad news. As they completely turn away Equinox yet, but Mina has taken that map control. Uh -oh. Absolutely vital map control at that. First kill actually comes in the form of C9 though, so Blue will fill the kill feed for the time being, and Boggs, we have a real round on our hands. That's a great bit of information there. On to the Cypher tucked underneath. Ten swing for one. Printed up by Cute Fat Boy. That neural theft could be absolutely huge. DXN chimes in for another. Spotted on the Raptors. Not going to count for anything just yet. Relics chimes in with one more. D Cop going for the fault line. Trying to capitalize on it. Brilliant. Cute Fat Boy with three. It's a 1v1 here. And the health might have favored Vice, but it will not go his way. D Cop with this. Every last dollar put into this round. And what they can show for it is a spike just about planted in an opening kill. Traded right back though, of course, will be Tens. Seemingly always appearing in the kill feed, forces Equinox to go for a much safer plant. But this means that's gonna be Fight much tougher hills. for the post plant. You can now see C9 getting just about in position to go ahead and retake. Strong positions don't seem to actually be doing the job so far. Mitch has a real job on his hands. Cage Spotted one with a camera, but he's not looking over towards A-Main where he desperately needs to. The Cyber Cage is out, and he feel like that buy him some more time. He's actually able to get a kill behind the flashbang, but Equinox still, they hold on. Again, if towards A, the Cypher cam is what they'll trust. From the shadows comes in though. Can Pancakes get anything done with this teleport? Still just sitting under. Roomba goes through to clear him out. Will not capitalize. Here comes Vice though. Huge opening frag to start things off. Trade coming back, you fat boy with two. Relics with another. DXN though on site, holding things down from Generator. Pancakes finishes off Shinobi and it's all down to Mitch. He hasn't exactly had the most kills, but he's had some pretty critical ones right now. 1v2, and this is actually relatively doable. Very low health on Pancakes. And if there's a picked up rifle for good old Mitch, you can definitely make things happen here. They're not watching his angle properly either. Mitch could win this round. Spike, Spike does go down though, and that should just about signal the end of it. Oh, Bulldog out. That could have been dangerous. Both players low now. Out because his camera it doesn't go the right spot though. Mitch chances for one. It's the head. 1v1 now against Cute Fat Boy, who's really heated up in the last few rounds. Mitch shuts him down. Cloudwell, it's Mitch in the boathouse trying to get something done. Shock Dart Cypher Cage is up. Nothing working out just yet. Blind sprays from everybody, and it's Mina to open things up on towards Mitch. Tens rings through, and it rings true on a decop through the wall. That's huge. Out towards market, we have Shinobi trying to make his way in. Cute Fat Boy holding the angle, but Shinobi wins that duel. Out towards B main, though. DXN swings two kills for him, and it brings it to a 3v2. One player advantage to the side of. Equinox. 
Drops that recon bolt too, will not recover any information off of that, however. Mina still holding towards control room wall, keeping an eye on things, holding the close peak. Swing comes in from Vice, wins that duel. No trade yet from DXN either. Health is low for him. Vice mows him down with a frenzy. And it's all down to pain cakes in a 1v2 to stay alive in this map. Their own map pick. Health is low. The chance is here, but his location has been revealed. He muffed that first kill. Pain cakes fully through the box. And Cloud9 take the pick of Equinox here. In the nick of time, the defuse entrance to be sight. Here comes the flashbang. Mina drops down. Needs to get that first, but it's tens of the sheriff. Running and gunning here. The XM, though, holding things down from backside. One and two huge kills. In comes Pain Kicks for a double as well. It's all down to Vice, pushing through the dark cover to his own doom. Judge, jury, and executioner, if you would. Equinox now yes, playing sir. second contact over towards Rope. Oh. Somehow feed themselves in towards Pain Kicks. C9. They had everything going for them in this round here. Artillery, you know, every few, however. Box. Smooth sailing for C9 so far. Ooh. Never mind. No longer smooth sailing. A little bit messy, if you would. Alex also holding That's over huge. towards heaven. We'll be able to pinch out too. And finally, a little bit of downtime before we head into the next part of this mess box. This is a bit of a mess, but now it's an Equinox mess. It's a 4v2 in the favor of Cloud9. Both players towards screens as well. That Swarm Grenade will hold them at bay for longer. Relic's holding a good angle on the board screens, waiting for them to walk out. Mina might just get caught out here, keeping an eye on Heaven. I don't think Mina's going to escape. Whether or not it's Mitch or Relics to put the final nail on that coffin remains to be seen. Vice Little Money's DXN elsewhere up towards Heaven. And Relics will hold that in. Tens is going to be the one I keep my eye on. That is beautiful. Lovely little set piece in from Vice as well as Tens. Finds that opening kill. And now, look at Equinox here. How do they change their setup? Well... Two towards A, two towards B. Standard enough here, giving up ropes control entirely. A little bit of a Alpha fight charges. over towards A heaven. But C9 have basic. Oh, wait, no, there's actually a push for B main as well. What's going on here? Oh, poor Mina caught off. Again, it's just sort of things like this where C9, now they're going to be able to adjust, but I think that's more an Equinox. Not really adjusting their setup in the way that they proper, properly should. Yeah, you kind of wonder if just that abandonment of the ropes in the heaven area was their downfall in this round. One enemy remaining. Well, Pancakes gets flanked on and like give that boy the last alive. Does not connect the operator shot and... Flawless victory for Cloud9, only losing one player in the, the A-bomb site, but cute fat boy is going to be watching. That's the first. The second one, also going to be there for Pancakes. Everybody getting involved for Equinox and Shinobi trying to fill the kill feed with a little bit more red will unfortunately lose to the clock itself. And that will be now six rounds for Equinox. A slow grind. Cute fat boy still going to be waiting over at A, but that doesn't matter. The push has begun over towards B. Oh, it, it's I done. Exactly no, the, ra the round's over, actually, Cloud9. Sorry, uh, I think you actually missed your schedule. That's happening next round, Cloud9. Uh, completely superseded, taken over heaven. But it's what comes next that is really going to be the concerning issue. Relics. Playing entry here, unfortunately, loses the fight to cute fat boy who's waiting in the back corner of sight. And he'll actually double up, find another. Tens has only been able to find one kill in response, but cute fat boy is completely crushing it. That's three kills. Finally, Tens is able to reply. But those are the only two kills that will be found. I'm watching heaven. Interesting times. Equinox with the late lurk. Should be able to come online eventually, but it's C9 to start things off. And this is a little bit more of what I was expecting, hoping to see out of C9. Alarm bot over towards CT spawn should be able to get that spike down without any further questions asked. Again, it's what comes next that's going to be super scary, but Cloud9 have had phenomenal post-plant positions. For this entire series so far, even against SSG, I can argue that for the most part they had very solid uh, post-plants. Rolling Thunder in doesn't dissuade anybody on C9. It's actually going to be the bullets from DXM that will go ahead and convince me otherwise. But there it is. C9 playing off of each other perfectly towards back of sight. We'll find two kills, the good. And DXN left to clutch things up here with 30 points of health. He's bleeding internally, but still tries to make it work. C9 will deny any opportunity. Struggle in the post, the later parts of the round, I should say. And that will be right about now. So right on schedule for where things become a little bit rougher. At this point on, Equinox, they just have to play this so passive. C9 are no doubt going to try to come in as a train. 
Just press W straight into them and hopefully that they can find the results. It's going to be Pancakes, DXN, Cute Fat Boy, Decap, everybody showing up for Equinox. Oh, and it's going to be a team affair. The underdogs now have found themselves on 11, or surely they have. There's still 10s who lurks, but no way he actually makes this one possible. A little bit scary. But losing this round. C9, for all intents and purposes, have looked gone on split. All these players incredibly skilled, but right now Equinox seem to be doing them one better. Oh, that is a brilliant boom bot to start things out here. C9, they don't even get past the smoke! The gatekeeper of the A bomb site, Relics, as well as Shinobi. Ten's even getting in there for good measure, but that is one hell of a way to mount a comeback C9, but still we're a long, long way away. Equinox haven't given up the dream yet. Pain kicks. Have that showstopper available come next round, and that knock away the killjoy from being able to play as first contact, but a <laughs> response for the rolling thunder. C9 actually are doing left. better for it as well. They've gotten two kills. They should be able to deny the bomb plant right in time. There's relics just an absolute monster. Unfortunately for Equinox, they got off to really gonna decide a lot for obvious reasons. They've just passed by tens. What is this? Tens! He's a part night time ninja as well, apparently. He's gotten free out of it! Even using the running phantom for good measure. They just let him they haven't checked it. Camera could reveal some positions. Relics though has a huge chance on towards oh, me. They pass like ships in the night, but Relics able to get one. DXN trades it back as decop eliminated Mitch. All exactly site resistance right. taken down in the neural theft comes in from cute fat boy too. They know where the last two players are coming from. They know they're both headed towards screens. DXN from the shadows will teleport all the way back towards ramp. Just hold the line. Hitting a different angle. Two players on the sites. Cute fat boy just behind that cyber cage. There's another one down as well. Time is fading. Time is fleeting. Tens goes through the first. Here comes one, but it's Vice and Tens were two. The spike is not planted for DXN. Out in the open is Tens. And Tens is down. Vice holding. Holding. DXN. No! Oh my lord, DXN! He has to go ahead and path around to actually get the spike down. And you could tell he was trying to look for a little bit more map control. Maybe over towards screens. That's going to be really I difficult now. It. Now they don't have that map control to work off of. Relics is going to punish Pancake's attempt for it. And we have ourselves a really rough 3v5 here, Box. 3v... Okay, never mind. 2v5. And 1v5. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Countdown with C9. None v5. Ridiculous. Again. C9. We'll have it all knotted up at 11. Wait, right on what's Q. the money? I think that Equinox are broke. Flawless. Wait. Double snipers are up in hand. Shinobi though paranoid. Mina pushing in. Not gonna clear any action. No, Vice actually peaked up on heaven. Will get taken down, but Shinobi trades. Pain kicks right there for another. Tens is in the back lines, though, and he's held strong for Cloud9 so far. Showstopper out. Tens has the operator. Gonna hit the first shot and dodge away. Misses that showstopper too. That's critical. Spike carrier drop and another one from Tens, no. though, not gonna connect. Relics falls to DXN. Tens still holding back lines. Gets another kill. Mitch chimes in for one more. Pain kicks versus Mitch now. 1v1 and a rifle picked up instead of the operator for Mitch. Drops that turret down as well and is going to rotate in towards spawn. Time is in the favor of Pancakes, who has the operator in hand. Has spotted out the turret, but does not know where Mitch is. We'll probably get the idea that Mitch has rotated in towards spawn pretty quickly here. Surely, Pancakes watches the angle. Oh, there he is, but it's going to be a matter of timing. Does Pancakes hold the right angle at the right time? That is the name of the game right now. It's what angle does Pancakes hold? He's edging closer. Is Pancakes going to take the initiative? Taps the spike, but it doesn't make the sound cue. Mitch is getting a little aggressive now. Pancake spots the turret and One drops bullet. that. One round, spots Mitch, goes for the shot. Pancake oh punches it out for Equinox. And Shinobi looks to hold the line here, doesn't want to get overwhelmed, so Tens will be there to provide us a little bit of backup. Mina leads to charge in, spots one player crossover. There's a second waiting in rafters. Mina, he's looking the wrong oh place no. at the right time. C9, have they actually brought this one to overtime? It's been such a Herculean effort from both teams. And still, Equinox fight back. They've gone into 2v2. Time and HP, both of the essence. Pancakes can't do anything. It's not the showstopper that's a final blow. It's got to be the satchel charge. And there we go. Huge factor for this round here. There's no notable B-Main aggression. There definitely is the heaven aggression, though, coming in from the side of Cloud9. Just utter what? chaos over towards B. You can barely even tell what's going on, but throughout the entire mess that is the <laughs> attacking side, that is Valorant at times. So many smokes on the floor, and C9 have managed to run away with a little bit of a lead. 
grabbing the Get ultimate orb is well important to mention planted. that Tens will now have that blade storm online. We enter a 3v2, and you mentioned that the team that gets that first attacking round are going to be heavily, heavily favored for obvious reasons, but now it's going to be even more apparent because that blade storm is going to do massive work, I feel like, just to secure this next one. Oh, yeah. Bias holding up in the rafters is a good angle. Cute fat boy yeah. actually going to take down one, but Tent Mitch has actually eliminated pain gigs. Vice still holds the line. It's going to be a grudge match to see who wins this round. And there's no ultimates to worry about as well. Those are far, far way away. Before we actually see those become a factor, the movement from Tens is dirty enough to cause a distraction. Mitch finds that first kill, and so the retake looks a little bit better for C9 Equinox. They've done so well to keep it this close. Don't tell me this is how it ends in utter heartbreak. Oh, Decop needs to swing for one here, getting caught from C, but Vice and Shinobi have two. Decop in those smokes, capitalizes on one, DXN trying to for another, but Vice is there to eliminate the last bastion of defense.